God bless you, beloved. We are receiving so much. <laughs> and we are giving. And we're receiving even more. Because giving and receiving are one thing. You are so, so increased. I see that. I see how the Lord is bringing so much increase into all the seeds in your life. How glorious is that? We talked about the Lamb that was slain and the fruit of redemption in the, um, in the souls of the sons of God. And in verse 9... In Ephesians 1, he continues. It's so deep, so powerful. And he says that having made known to us the mystery of his will, according to that which seemed good to him. <laughs> Our Father is so out of this world. <laughs> So amazing. If you just want to stop right now and just, just worship the Father, just right there from Jesus, from the Son, and just worship Him. Just spend some time worshiping Him. Uh, it's, it's, it's okay. <laughs> Which good thing He purposed in Himself with respect to an administration of the completion of the epochs, generations, epochs of time, to bring back again to their original state all things in Christ, the things in heavens and the things on the earth, in him you know I heard some understanding about Jesus and the cross that really emphasized the love of God and he said you know it's the cross and you know was nothing because he would go just he he wanted to bring us to himself it's just the overwhelming love of the father and <clears throat> I just want to clarify this for you the tree of knowledge of good and evil is a realm is a whole realm of understanding and relationship the tree of life is another realm, is a whole realm of relationship. Understanding the love of God, it's so important to be from the right realm of understanding. It's so clear that there was a separation. There are uh, people who say, now God is always everything and there is no separation. He is always in everything, very pantheistic. But there was a separation. If there was not a separation, then this verse doesn't make sense. But he says to bring back into himself something that was separated. The cross and the blood of the cross was the place of bringing together into one. How amazing is our Father and His wisdom when He said, I, I prepare a body, you prepare for me, says the Lord, a body. I come to do your will. Right? This is the mystery of his will. In his body, because of the blood, was the blood of God. And in the body of man <laughs> and God, 
right? In that blood, he reconciled the eternal things with the things that were separated from him. Right? So this is so important to understand. Without the blood, there is no reconciliation. That redemption in the soul is extremely important. Okay, you cannot bypass that. Just go around that because God loved us. Right, yes, God loved you and God loved us. And the Lamb was slain as the solution already. God was already prepared. And at the fullness of time, heaven and earth got in him, reconciled in him through the blood of his cross. There are epochs of time. That's a completion of epochs. That means generations. The generations got in the move from the creation. Remember, he says that God framed the worlds. There's frames, there's generations that they got in the move from the creation. The Lamb was slain and creation started like slain, like broken pieces. All these pieces went into existence, bringing creation of these worlds. And then all these worlds will be, be, be brought back into Him through the Lamb. Was broken, was slain, and everything comes back into Him. In Him... All things come together. So when Lucifer, when Satan disobeyed and separation happened, even in the heavenlies, right? The plan was in the motion. And in that plan, all the separation is going to be removed in Christ. And I don't want to bring that uh, discussion about heaven and hell and uh, the disobedience and the punishment um, because that's, that's absolutely according to your father's mind and understanding, right? It's, um, it says that the hell is prepared for the devil in his um, uh, servants and then he sent some souls in that place that was not prepared for the humans but was prepared for the devil but they are very clear delimitation right God is so amazing and so omnipresent that he can delimit and put a limit to where he cannot be. Well, God is everywhere, so he's right there in the hell and that. No, no. God is so powerful that he can limit where he cannot be. <laughs> Did you think about that? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's so interesting because we we take all this omni 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 and we don't understand that he does what he says he would do and he can do it. Absolutely. Yeah. So anyway, that's uh, I, I don't know how I got there, but that's not that important now because that's not for you and it's not about you. What's about you is that you are the first fruit of this coming together into one. Right? 
You are the first fruit of this oneness. This is why sonship and this season, this generation of sons is so amazing. It's not about the miracles on this earth. It's not about the healings. It's not about taking over, um, healing the demonized. And I mean, all of this is happening and it's good. But your purpose is to be the first fruit of this coming into one. We are the first ones to experience that. That's amazing. Doesn't that make you very excited? It does. So, we are celebrating the moment when Christ and the Bride are coming into one, where the head and the body are absolutely consuming this oneness. This is the Bride and the Bridegroom at the wedding when that is consumed is is the first fruit of bringing all things back into one into him god will be all in all so we are right there at the edge <laughs> this is why this generation is so important and it's it's so much that we want to understand in verse 11 he says in whom also we were made an inheritance having been previously marked out according to the purpose of the one the purpose of the one you hear this who operates all things according to the counsel of his will with a view of our being to the praise of his glory <laughs> see this who we are it's bringing praise to the glory of god because there was no other generation until now that will experience this oneness, this fruit in their souls of bring, bringing into Him <laughs> oneness with Him. This is glorious. This is, this is who you are. This is why this is so powerful. And this is why this is bringing praise to his glory see grace worked in us this fruit of redemption but grace says okay now it's up to God himself to make one <laughs> grace is a creation <laughs> and works with the, our adopted souls and brings this fruit but then grace says okay that's all I can do now he himself by the Holy Spirit God is bringing us into oneness in Christ do you see that and that's for the glory of God this is the glory that Jesus said I want you to know the glory it says father give me that glory that I had from before and this ones will know the glory the glory is that essence of that relationship of oneness the Trinity that the Father the Son the Holy Spirit have this oneness this is the glory of that oneness and he says I want to impart it with them. I want them to experience that. <laughs> oh, that's, that's so beautiful. This is Ephesians 1. 
everything that's happening in your soul that you can perceive, everything that grace is revealing to your soul, it's opening up and then the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit is bringing you in the center of, of their will, of their plan. And he says, welcome, son. Welcome, son. This was my plan from the beginning. You are my plan. This is oneness. Welcome.